Hi folks, Jay from All About Photography. I'm set up here to do a bit of focus stacking. Uh, one of my guests at my creative macro class the other night was inquiring about focus stacking. Um, so I thought I'd make a little video and show you guys how I go about my focus stacking and what programs I use on the computer and how I process the photos afterwards to get the end result. So I've set up a little piece of jewelry here. Um, got a nice blue background here, two flashes to bounce off the ceiling, set my subject up, I've set my focus right in front of there and then I'm going to use the focus rails I'm going to roll myself through through the range of focus and step my way through the, the area of sharpness right to the back of the subject so that I can then stack all the photos together in either Photoshop or Helicon and get an, get an end result. My camera is set up at the flash sync speed of 1 1 60th. I'm shooting f11 and ISO 100 so I can have a nice good bit of quality. So what I'm going to do here is run off the photos. I'll run through this in fast forward for you. I'm guessing this will take about 20 photographs to take, take this image. It's a good inch and a half to two inches from front to back. So I'll take those photos and we'll fast forward through that for you. Just quickly before I do that, what I'm doing here is I'm going to take a shot. I'm going to roll that forward just about a millimetre. That'll be enough. I'll keep taking shots and just keep doing the same. Step my way through the shot. And one last shot. There we go. So what I'm going to do is uh, I'll take these memory cards out and I'll put them in my computer and we'll uh, run through the process with you there. Okay, here I am in Lightroom. I've imported the 25 photographs from my capture. Um, so I'm gonna go into the develop module. What I need to do is choose probably one of the middle ones so they've got something in focus to look at. And I'm just gonna make a few adjustments. I might just add a little bit of clarity up here little bit of vibrance and a little bit of saturation um, probably not much else I really want to do to this so what I'm going to do is go uh, command A select all um, and synchronize the changes to all of the photographs and once it does that which it does very quickly I then need to go probably right click and export and what we'll do is we'll put them into a folder change that so I've done it previously, heart one, save that on the desktop, so I'll, these are all raw files, so what I'm going to do is save them into a folder on my desktop um, as JPEGs, and then I'll bring them into a program called Helicon, just have to wait for them to export up there, still waiting for the synchronize obviously, so, okay, so they're all exported now, so I'll just close out of Lightroom and I will open up, close that, open up Helicon Focus, which is a program I love to use for my focus stacking. It does the job much faster than Photoshop. I'm going to open the folder where those shots are and select all of them and drag and drop them into there. Close that. Maximize that. Okay, so there's our shots. We've got 25 shots that's imported, starting with the first one. Yep. Okay, well, really all we need to do, there's three three methods here. Um, we might just stick with the method A, weighted average. And uh, if we just hit render up there, and this will do its job. What it's going to do is render each layer in and find the sharpest part of each layer and use only that part of the image and it'll stack them all together so we end up with a nice sharp image at the end. So it's working its way through them. So there's 25 shots should only take about one minute to process which as I said is much faster. This would take probably 15 or 20 minutes in Photoshop to process 24 images and I really don't think you get the same result as you do with this program. Right, couple to go. Last one, done. 
All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go up here to saving and press save. And I will call that uh, um, Red Heart. And go to save. I'll save that as high quality. So that's saved. So I'll close out of Helicon program. Go back into this folder. Where are we? Red Heart. That shot there, I'm going to drop it straight back into Lightroom so I can crop it, clean it up a bit. Right, there is Lightroom, maximise that. And find our shot was the last one. That one there, import, hit the develop module, select the photo. Right, so there's the there's the final photograph. So the first thing I'm going to do is hit crop and down just to get rid of those edges where the um, area of sharpness is. I'm going to go a little bit tighter than that just to get rid of that because you can see up the top there how it's now out of focus. Right, that's because I didn't push my um, layer of photos that far back only just went past the edge of the necklace but we can just crop that off make it look pretty move it over to the center there press enter okay so there's our cropped finished stacked image nice and sharp uh, you can see even see that there's hairs and all sorts of bits of corrosion dust and things on there because i didn't take too much care in uh, preparing the piece of jewelry but that's it so that's stacked if I wanted to clean that up a little bit, maybe just get rid of that dust that's on there, I would just you know, use the spot removal tool or I would use, um, drop it into Photoshop and use the um, healing brush. Yeah, just get rid of maybe those couple of little dots of... Um, put one there, one there, of dust, one on there. Yeah, maybe that one. Right. Okay, so they're all gone. Put that back. Then go save. Export. Done. Put it in there. Export. Uh, yeah, we'll save over the top of the other one. All right, it's easy as that. So I hope you enjoyed that. Um, as you can see, that Helicon Focus program is is quick and easy to use. Um, and it makes your photo stacking foolproof, basically. I've done a lot of photo stacking before and some of, sometimes you can get uh, you know, spots where there is no detail, it just won't process the information, like mainly through Photoshop, but Helicon Focus does a great job. So I hope, I hope you enjoyed that, folks, and I hope that uh, Pamela, when you see this from the, the class the other night, that that helps you um, understand how focus stacking works and how how reasonably easy it is to do on your computer. So thank you very much.